there are there's two types of inspections with the methane rule. There's what's called audio, visual, olfactory, and that's called an AVO. In other words, if you can hear it, see it, or smell it. Then the other one is the OGI inspection, optical gas imaging, and that is by far superior um, to detecting any types of leaks. For example, a number of the inspections we've done on tank batteries would pass an AVO inspection because you can't see it. But on a OGI camera, what happens is the camera itself is cryogenic. It's got a little compressor inside the camera. And the lens has a component or an element known as germanium. And within the infrared scale, hydrocarbons in a cryogenic camera fall into a certain scale number. And when you see that methane leaking, it looks like smoke coming on our camera because it's white hot, black cold. And you can see that gas flowing as the wind's carrying it. With the naked eye, you cannot see that. You would never know, an AVO inspection would say there's no leak when there in fact is. And we found that on numerous tank batteries because thief hatch is a very, very common leak area. Number one, the EPA methane rule is here to stay. Um, it's something that every operator is gonna have to deal with from here on out. I think the best method for detecting a, mo a methane leak is OGI camera, optical gas imaging. It's far superior to an AVO inspection. The use of the OGI camera will grow exponentially throughout the industry.